we welcome viewers from around the world. In this video, join us as we examine life expectancy at birth in African countries that gained independence in 1960. Our expectation is that with these countries gaining independence that there will be a focus on improving health care for the citizens which would translate to significant improvement in life expectancy. The results we found were unexpected, showing mixed data with some countries improving while others seriously lagging behind. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button. The learning objectives are on your screen. We'll explore why life expectancy is such an important measure of public health. We'll look back at the 17 African countries that gained independence in 1960, where the Republic of Congo and Gabon had the highest life expectancy, while Mali and Cameroon were at the bottom. We will also compare how things have changed by 2023, with Senegal and Mauritania now leading, and Nigeria still struggling. We examine why life expectancy remains low in Nigeria. Finally, we will highlight what can be done next by investing in primary care, education and good governance to help more people live longer, healthier lives. According to the World Health Organization, life expectancy is defined as the number of years a person can expect to live. It is based on an estimate of the average age that members of a particular population group will be when they die. For example, if a country's life expectancy at birth is 60 years, a baby born today is expected to live, on average, to age 60 years assuming no major changes in health trends. Life expectancy isn't just about how long people live. It is a mirror of a nation's health. When life expectancy is high, it often means fewer preventable deaths, better health care, and stronger communities. When low, it signals problems like poverty, weak health systems, and disease. This is the reason public health experts use life expectancy to guide policies, measure progress, and push for change. In 1960, 17 African countries gained independence. They include Cameroon, Senegal, Togo, Madagascar, Republic of Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Somalia, Republic of Benin, Niger Republic, Burkina Faso, Côte d'Ivoire, Chad, Central African Republic, Gabon, Mali, Nigeria and Mauritania. On your screen is life expectancy in African countries that gained independence in 1960 listed from highest to lowest. Republic of Congo had the highest life expectancy with 47 years followed by Gabon with 46 years. Mali had the lowest life expectancy with 30 years. So, how has the data changed between 1960 and 2023, where we have the most recent data? Overall, there has been a significant increase in life expectancy in all these countries, some more than most. For example, life expectancy in Senegal increased from 39 years in 1960 to 68 years in 2023. An absolute increase of 29 years. Mali, the country with the lowest life expectancy in 1960 with 30 years increased by almost 30 years to 60 years in 2023. There have been a few surprises. In 1960, the countries in the red box, namely Niger Republic, Burkina Faso, Cameroon and Mali all had life expectancy below that of Nigeria. Fast forward to 2023. These countries that had life expectancy below Nigeria in 1960, namely Niger Republic, Burkina Faso, Cameroon and Mali all now had life expectancy significantly above that of Nigeria as depicted on your screen. This begs the question. What happened to Nigeria? The most likely reasons are lack of investment in healthcare, the dropper phenomenon of healthcare workers leaving the country for better opportunities primarily in the West. High infant mortality rate, high under-5 mortality rate, high maternal mortality ratio and, 
increasing poverty with over 40% of Nigerians living below the poverty line. Several of these topics we have covered in other videos and we encourage our viewers to watch them. We hope our leaders see the urgency in addressing these issues as Black Lives Matter. To raise life expectancy, countries need strong primary health care, better maternal and child services. Investing in clean water, good nutrition, and education can save millions of lives. Tackling poverty, improving security, and strengthening governance will make these health gains last, thereby helping more people live longer, healthier lives. The learning objectives have been met. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you found this presentation informative and educational, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and sharing with family members, friends, and colleagues. Your support helps us create more informative and educational content. Until next time, stay strong, stay hopeful. This has been a presentation of Apomolero Media, LLC.